Well, hello there. Can I sneak on by? Maybe this way? I just could I could just snipe them from here. Yeah, that's gonna take too long. Let's see what we can do up here. The fuck is he looking at? Yeah, the AI is still pretty dumb, even with the realistic battle mod. Unfortunately. Did he just fall? Fuck. He did. I think he got assisted suicide by my guys. He was like, oh, I'm gonna fucking just jump off. And he got shot just before he was gonna jump off. So he died an honorable death, right? Now I do want to get rid of those guys down there because I do want to open the gates. So we can flank all of these. It seems there are no sh sneaky archers lying about. Yeah, they can, but I want to like open the gate so we come through three ways. Why did I come up here? Yeah, we got two breaches, so they can just walk through. I'm just gonna make another entryway. Because, you know, why not? just bring my archers in here also if you go through here none of them are actually gonna you know shield wall and stand in front of us no, they, they usually go right through like they should you just see uh, like since you have like three categories here three from uh, two formations they uh, split off for some reason, like, uh, so. And I'd rather them fight, like, through here, than bunched up. And plus, we flank them, like I said. So we're gonna be able to shoot at them from the flank. Or shoot my, one of my own guys, never mind. Right, don't do that. The game's gonna lag to shit. Now, that would be fun if you actually had your cab on horseback so you can, like, tell them to dismount. And then you, like, uh, or tell them, you know, just stay put. Then you go up the walls and do all that sneaky stuff. You just had to get stuck. Yeah, you're the only one on a, on a horseback. They just have to get stuck. Then again, I mean, this is a... The best troops. Yes, indeed. Uh, I did tell him to, like, go there.
Okay, yeah, look. Yeah, some of them are coming through. The Good thing there is no, like, boiling oil to throw at them. Automatically or something. And we can slow-mo the action as well. Look at that. Yeah, imagine. I do. I, I do think there, there's probably gonna be a mod or someone who just makes that, like, um, literal like lava, uh, filing, uh, boiling things there, or like in the entryway at least. Maybe like uh, you know those like rocks you can drop on the enemy, or like, uh, oh my god, tree trunks you can like uh, set loose on the enemy as well. Uh, that's Distinguished Service. Basically, if uh, your guys get five or more kills, you can make them a companion. See, all these are companions, or soldiers that I made into companions. Then you can choose which skills they're gonna get. Depending on how much, how many kills they get, uh, determines how much exp uh, well, levels are they gonna get in that skill. Yeah, it's called Distinguished Service. There's a lot of mods you wanna play with. I think there's a link to my guild server somewhere down there in the, on Twitch. No, that's not in the main game. Of course not. Why would it be? That would be too good. There's a link to the guild server somewhere in the description or below Twitch. I do have a list of all the mods I use here. Well, except the RTS camera one. To my capture now. You can see the you can see harmony, better exception window, bottle lib, you know, UI and extender X mod configure. You need those. Then we got uh, one Calradic Empire, so it's only one, not uh, multiple of them, the three of them. It's United, Tessogen, Tessogen, Proved Garrison, Distinguished Service, Party AI Overhaul and Commands, Diplomacy, True Arena Experience, Banner Pace, Fill Stacks, Perfect Fire Arrows. Righteous executions, even though I didn't execute anyone yet. True battle loot, true relations, settlement culture changes, surrender tweaks, enhanced battle test. Enhanced battle test, RTS camera, better combat, and a realistic battle AI module. There's a lot of mods I use. Game of Thrones mod. I don't know how fleshed out it is, since uh, I didn't watch the series, uh, so I don't want to play the mod. Okay, let's see. Let's take that, then we're going to take this and this. Swallow them, swallow, them, uh, swallow them whole. Let's check their strength. They're pretty good still, and no one's actually joining me here. To help me get the... Lord of the Throne. I guess that's probably why, uh, or that's probably because, um, they're all gonna be loyal or something. Yeah, honorable. Yeah, they're probably not gonna do it. And if, if you, like, played this game without, like, any... Like uh, goal, it is. It does get boring. So, uh, like for the last one, we had the Viking one. No, we're not the Emperor. I mean, I could leave the kingdom and take everything with me, and then fight them for it. This is a custom faction which starts off here. And I do want to make this playthrough a little bit shorter. And by shorter, I mean it's going to be 20... What was it? 28 or 29 hours with this one, probably.
one test here is that what the fuck is that? I got no clue. Horse, what type of horse? What do you mean? Oh. This. B16, Ningur 71, I think the one you get from the like Sturgeon and Batanian territory, territory from like uh, tournaments is the best one you can get. At least from what I've seen so far. I don't want to be speedy on but well, I mean this is only gonna give me one more point to maneuver. There he has a lot of charge damage, but still. 76. I think I wanna stick with the Azurai horse for now. Well, I mean, if you had like horses like in Prophecy of Pandora or the fancy ones, it would break the game, I think. Break the realism. What you shoot the fucking ballista first? Oros is on the siege, no wonder. No, you can uh, build, then move to reserves. So you can, like, uh, build four sets of uh, trebuchets, and I can, like, uh, move one to reserve and build a fire onger if I want. That was always in the game. And you can actually starve them out. It just, it just takes time. Um, that you usually don't have because you usually if you besiege something you get attacked once twice three four four five six times yeah it is in the game move to reserves that's in that's in one nil without any mods <laughs> yeah there's lots of things you didn't know right <laughs> Did you know you can crouch? You can't do anything while crouched. Oh, you can move crouched, but I don't think that does anything. Defending Poros. Let's see you defend Poros. Hire mercenaries to assassinate Nobunaga. Oh, that would be pretty good. We're Nobunaga, man. Hires. Oh, that... Imagine if this mod, the Tessujin mod, actually like uh, had the, the Metsuke or the ninjas from like Shogun 2. You can send them off a mission, on off a mission. It might be a thing sometime. Some other, in some other universe or something. What's up, Sultan? Your army in, uh... Your army is doubled than the one defending Poros. Oh, well, uh, of course. We, uh, we don't actually have a lot of, like, manpower. I mean, when you take out the mercenaries, we... Okay, that's not good. Errors! I do love errors. When you take out the mercenaries, we don't actually have that much manpower, to be honest. Like, the... the my clan members or the extra parties I have are like the the meatiest. I mean, like they have even more troops than some of the lords. Mm, we actually don't have the biggest army in the game. I did see the empire. Well, on the beginning of the campaign, uh, they did have like 24k. 
uh, total strength. So they could, they did have like 2,000, 3,000 man armies. Yeah, clans, clan, that's for sure. I feel like mercenaries are useless. Uh, I mean, they're good for fodder, I guess. I'm not actually sure how you buy mercenaries or get get mercenaries if you're the lord of the clan or the faction. I want to keep an eye on this. I don't think anyone's going to join because they're all honorable. I'm waiting to destroy all the walls and destroy the ballistic, which we're going to do now. I'm in no hurry. It's not like they pose any threat to me at this point. You got, I got to talk to the leader mercenaries? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think that's, that's how it would work. Yeah, at this point, we can just walk on by and take everything. No issues. Okay, you guys stand there. You guys stand there. Okay, the flag's a little bit... Uh... They're buggy if you do place them. See, I have no idea if this is actually doing anything. Hopefully it is. A little bit. <clears throat> Just a little bit. Place one there. Place some guys up here to die horribly. Fucking trees and houses. I'm gonna s make this not work. Well, I don't see actually why is, uh, some mothers couldn't like implement horses in uh, siege battles. Like, why isn't the thing moving at top speed? So that one's pretty good. Let's see the others. Look at these ones didn't work. No, 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 no. Yeah, the fire arrows are just cosmetic for this one. So they don't actually do fire damage. There's a mod that makes them do fire damage, but it kind of... Um, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm, I think they're in loose formation by default. It just doesn't show. Yeah, they did just go outside the walls to get killed. Okay, this might not work out for me the best. <laughs> Run, 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 run. Are these guys gonna come out here as well? Seems like it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, 
that. I didn't think the horse is gonna go that way. It took a shitload of friendly fire damage. Okay, good. They're not gonna kill my horse, at least. This is just unfair. <laughs> is it? No, this is unfair. Oh. Run, 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 run. Yeah, I got the, like uh, the highest armor in the game, and these are just militia. Come on, guys, do your thing. Sad music just adds to this. Chalks. <laughs> if only they were blue, right? What y'all looking at? And I miss all of them. What? A cataphract. Look at that. Too dumb to hold up his shield, apparently. Is that all of them? Nope. Hell, did they get stuck here anyway? Now I wish I made the like uh, the the, uh, the leader of the uh, imperial faction, the blue one, whichever one that is. Use the AI brain. Can we? Hmm. Might not be the be brightest idea ever. Well, let's do it anyway. Okay, never mind. It's a fucking invisible wall. I love those. Can't live without them. Take a look at the action. Okay, what the? AI doing AI things. No lazy to take the stairs. Yes, indeed. Okay, there's. As per usual, there's a bunch there down below. A couple of them here. Only I knew which ones of these are these. Okay. Nope. Wait a minute. No, they are those. Let's spread them out like here so they have a shot at those guys up there. Why take the stairs, man, where you can just cross the roof? And throw a fire pot at the end or arrow what? Stone pile, never mind. I 
Yeah, I can just walk through the gates and open them. I want to kill the archers that are on the, like, fancy parts of the map. Take a... Well, I mean, I could just charge, you know, I mean... It's at this point. Oh, shit. Oh, right, look at that. That's a lord. Oh, this might be painful. Kill these guys. Because, I mean, we can't just charge in and we're gonna take almost no casualties. We only took two casualties so far. Motherfucker, right. Really, game? You get emotional, emotional damage. <laughs> it seems like it probably is. Yeah, he took off like 80% of my HP with one hit. Even though we have like the highest tier armor in the game. Well, one of the highest tier armors in the game. At least the Desigen ones. Probably got the crit, right? Not the crit hit on me. Now, last time I was here, I got killed off by my own fucking catapult or chebuchet. Who was left alive there? There we go. Imagine if this game actually had crits. That would be pretty fucking awesome. Then again, it would be more of a... Well, this is an RPG, but you, you get what I mean. Everyone. You motherfuckers, I'm your lord. <laughs> Wait, uh, right, like they're uh, women and children or just the qu qu queens and whatnot just wake up now and we there's a shitload of Japanese people outside the walls or in the walls that, or like a shitload of enemies outside the walls and one guy like going off sniping everyone else. You open the door. Hopefully I don't get... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Don't do it. The coast is clear. Well, Sludge did say um, uh, this is going to be ninja, ninja time. Apparently it is. Someone just shot me in the face. But we can take control of another... Another unit. Who's... Who's the fucking bastard? Oh, you piece of slimy hiding shit. Yeah, I got sniped by that guy there. But the RTS camera mod lets you... Like, change characters. Usually some of them, usually all of them are like your companions. Or you take control of the companions. You say Zephyr. 
Yeah, I, I swear a lot. Sir swears a lot is my name. No, no, I'm just wounded. You dot 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 dot. Yeah, I got wounded. Yeah, there's two chats. I'm streaming to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Watchman kills a fucking elite. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I see why. They're stuck in the tents. Kind of. Well, there's 14 people that are wounded. Nine of them are dead. And I'm one of them. Right, yes. Okay, let me show you how this works. So, he gets 7 kills. Then, we can, like, give him uh, three, of, 3 skills he's gonna get more points into. So, like, uh, we can give him athletics, riding skill, and I don't know what I don't have. I don't have... I don't have roguery in the party, so let's give him that. And he's basically gonna get those skills. This flag is so freaking annoying. And even the fire is annoying if you're actually using it. <laughs> you bastard. What are your stats? 217 two handed damage. 270 melee. Piece of shit, you almost killed me. Well, it would have been better if he killed me than I than getting shot in the face, I guess. Kill him. Execute him. Yeah, we got the righteous uh, executions. I guess we should use them, right? Piece of shit, you insulted my family. Which we don't have any yet. Oh my god, this is gonna be so annoying. Uh well we don't need the money. Because we look at the armor we got. And we don't need an upgrade. Well, we don't need the money or and we don't need the upgrade. One man lords? What do you mean? The one, uh, the mean in the clans that only have like one male guy in them? Yeah, like see, you get the companion that we just... Let's see if we can find him. Then you can level him up as you wish. This is this a guy or this girl? We don't need the money, and we don't need the upgrades. Uh, we should be fine. I don't like. I personally want to just give all the armor to the infantry, so they can like uh, level up the troops. And if you like uh, want to like kill off a clan, like chasing them all down and killing them is annoying. I think there was another. Oh, see, yeah, they want to take. I can't tell. I can't remember which one. Let's see, I actually got to the... Grounds, Royal Privilege. Yeah, this, this, this is... This is, like... Fucking... Imagine if you're, like, a... Uh, Execute a couple of more people. Yeah, the, the Oscar, you're right. This is. Look at that. Uh, how the, that took like a minute to go past all that. And if you execute a couple more guys, then you're gonna be staring at that shit forever. Yeah, let's see. 
He's engaging. Is he going to win? I think there should I think there should be a mod that's actually going to like I think there is a mod that actually like stops the relations from going back down or like that shit appearing. You're calculating. Would you be like that? Probably not. Yeah. Well, I mean, we did have a companion die in battle. Even uh, even on the hardest difficulty. Wait, no. Not that. Campaign options. Yeah, realistic, realistic, realistic. I, just, I left the boom speed so we can move around faster. This I don't want to change because the mod makes them block almost everything. This is realistic, realistic, realistic. Well, except Iron Man, of course. He went to eat, came back, and it still was going on. I think it like uh, since all the guys in our, cl our let's see, yeah, let's look at them. Honorable, M munificent, munificent, merciful, seabral. I think you just ruse your relations with the lords that are like this, like that. Uh, well, the thing with is with that mod, you got two modules. You got the realistic battle AI module, and you got the I can't remember which, what's the other one. But basically, the other one messes with the armor values and weapon damage and all that, and makes it much more realistic. So if you're like lower tier, you literally can't do damage to like a higher tier guy, and he can kill you in one swing. You want to try that out? Unfortunately, that doesn't actually work with any mod. Or like it, they need to like specifically go in and change the values and everything for the equipment in the mod. So if you wanna have that, play with you know native. What well, it does actually change the how damage works. Uh, this how 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 much the speed affects the damage, the armor, and everything else. In that if you want there's a link in the description or in the on the guild server for that as well you want to grab that all i need is my three guys we can do everything They're still at four villain, but I want you piss off. God damn it. Well, I guess I'm gonna let the other guys focus on them and I'm gonna deal with the Empire. Not much else to do. I mean, quote unquote, folks on them. They're not gonna do shit. Let's grab a couple more. Just in case. But basically, it will only take me time to, like, capture all of this. I mean, Saragot is being besieged, but they're. They're probably going to take it back. Ooh, I forgot about that. My stuff is actually on the border with them. Let's see how much units is, are there in there. 
Okay, there's almost a thousand troops in there. I don't I don't think they're gonna take that many times soon. Oh look at that. They don't have food. So they're probably gonna surrender. I think there's a bit too many of them to actually like outright surrender. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna click the button once the walls are done. Right, did I level up or something? No. What you want? What you want? Yeah, chase him, chase him, kill him. I know you can do it. Yeah, look at that. Easy peasy. I'm not gonna even take him prisoner. Let them go. We're gonna show mercy. Even though that's gonna suck for the morale a little bit. But that's it. Nah, I don't wanna waste time following him. still at war wait a minute if I peace out with them I'm gonna be paying 20k a day what what game really game oh that pisses me off no end. Ooh. A worthy foe. Well, hello there. Yeah, go catch him for us. First battle with the RTS camera. Let's see how it goes. And it's a river crossing. All I see is dead men. And I'm right. Most of them are like militia. Like two second or third year infantry. Hill to our backs as well. Nice. Why does the fucking flag disappear, game? Come on. Placing troops. Ah, oh, that's fine enough. Yeah. Now we can do this.
Oh yeah, this is much nicer. I do think we need to move up to actually hit them. Oh, they're running away. They're actually doing something smart. Finally, a whole lot of skirmishing happening. Now, apparently, you could middle click to make them attack a certain unit. Supposedly. I'm not completely sure. That's, that's how it's supposed to work. Like it did say on the mod page, like you, you middle click to make them fire at a specific target. I don't see it though. And again, we might just be out of range. Look nice, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure how you tell them to uh, target the archer specifically. I am clicking the middle mouse button. Let's see. It looks like it kind of works. Unfortunately, like this, I'm not I'm not going to be in the action ever. That was, that was what I was afraid of. If I install the RTS camera mode, I'm never gonna believe it.
And look at me just chilling there. No poke for you. Actually, I could just shoot them. It looks like they're actually running even further away. you can play the game like this then as well well it might be a little bit too slow The enemy actually flanked us with their cat once. And most of our archers are out of ammunition as well. Time to just charge in. escape. They do uh, still have a bunch of cavalry. Yes, per usual. Stop blocking.
8 kills max? Nah, we're not gonna abuse that mod anymore. For the next one, I might actually use the nerf version of it, the newer version. Slice him, come on, dice him. I do love getting double kills. Only 50 losses. And we got some troops back. What the fuck are you? Oh, Sturgeon. I didn't read that right. Mm, only 93,000 experience. Oh, we can use it every single little bit. Yeah, now let's go grab that. I wish we could uh, just piece them out. I don't want to fight them. I don't think they're going to go for any of my territory. Or if they do, I do want to see them actually take it. Because my shit over there has a thousand man arm uh, garrison. Yeah, look at that. Check it like this. Uh, Razi. 112. Uh, I think it's Gyaru. Hmm. Can't remember which ones are which. The Kenjutsu ones are the ones with the. Actually, I don't know, so I'm not gonna say. Maybe I don't know Oh, yeah, the archers are here, right? The ones that are 71, that's probably the ones with the cannibal weapon, the big stick. The other ones are gonna be the katana wielding ones. Plus the militia. So if they take it, I'm gonna be freaking surprised. Or if they besiege it at all. What are the garrisons like in the other ones? And this one might fall. Imagine if the engineering skill like got you at the highest level like two catapults or orangers at the start of a siege that would be perfect. And much better than what we got now. Hey, what what do you get from the engineering skill now? <laughs> 